Hi, this is Kendrick with worldmedicalschool.org. We're going to talk about hypothyroidism as part of our comprehensive uh, clinical medicine review series. And uh, we're also going to mention thyroiditis as it uh, ties closely to hypothyroidism. So this is a disease that affects uh, women more commonly than men. Uh, women like Oprah Winfrey here, who is, is not looking like your classic hypothyroid patient here. Um, she's looking pretty trim, and as we'll talk in a, in a minute, that is not one of the uh, major signs of hypothyroidism. But it's, a, it's low thyroid hormone, and uh, that's, that's the basic gist of hypothyroidism is you, you're not making enough thyroid hormone. And this could be caused by uh, either primary hypothyroidism, meaning that uh, something is happening in the gland where you're not making the thyroid hormone, or secondary hypothyroidism, where uh, you have something uh, before the gland that is n not allowing you to make uh, thyroid hormone. For example, the most common worldwide uh, cause of hypothyroidism would be iodine deficiency. And uh, in developed countries, that is not a problem. So the, the major cause of uh, hypothyroidism in developed countries is Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And Hashimoto's thyroiditis is uh, an autoimmune disease caused by antibodies to uh, thyroid peroxidase as well as um, other thyroid proteins. And so um, that causes destruction of the thyroid gland. There's other types of thyroiditis, like uh, subacute uh, granulomatous, uh, radiation-induced, autoimmune, uh, which we just mentioned, uh, postpartum, drug-induced, and hepatitis C it causes kind of an autoimmune effect too. So with all of these, you are uh, potentially going to get a hyperthyroid period where you got a lot of circulating thyroid hormone. And... Um, I guess uh, it, it'd kind of be like um, if you were to kick a cow in the udder, for example. Sorry, this is the best thing I could come up with right now. Um, if you kicked a cow in the udder uh, really hard, you'd get a bunch of milk out right away. Uh, but then the udder would probably not produce milk well after that. Uh, sorry, that's, that's the best analogy I could think of. Um, so... In that case, you get a bunch of thyroid hormone circulating, and then after that, you get uh, hypothyroid. So we talked about hyperthyroid in the last video, so if you have questions about that, you can look it up. Um, but the presentation of hypothyroidism is mostly the opposite of hyperthyroidism. So because thyroid hormone speeds up metabolism and uh, in most cases encourages growth, you get um, cold intolerance because uh, you have a slower metabolism. You're not making as much heat. You get constipation because you get a slower gut. You get weight gain, uh, bradycardia, uh, fatigue. Everything here is slow. Uh, muscle and joint pain. You get uh, dry, brittle fingernails, dry skin, brittle finger, fingernails. You get depression, hypotonia, so the muscles are weaker. Uh, Females get uh, infertility and amenorrhea. Again, this is more commonly in females anyway. And then hyperprolactinemia, which could uh, contribute to the infertility and can also cause uh, galactorrhea. So those are the, the major early signs. Later on, you could get a goiter. Uh, you could get uh, hoarseness, slow speech, which may, may be associated with the size of the goiter. You can get dry, puffy skin, especially in the face. Um, when it gets really bad, and we'll talk about uh, something called um, myxedema coma here in a second, but as it gets towards myxedema, myxedema coma, you get impaired cognition, sometimes psychosis, um, you get hair loss, uh, increased need for sleep, deafness, enlarged tongue. So those are some of the, some of the more serious or, or at least less common symptoms. Uh, this is the only picture I could find of, uh, of an individual with hypothyroidism. This is a uh, retriever uh, Labrador um, with hypothyroidism. So 
log that away. Diagnosis is based on high T TSH. Um, a normal TSH is between 0.5 and 4.5, uh, debatably. And some of these people get um, TSH levels uh, over 100, uh, and, and I hear over 1,000 as well. But, uh, but a lot of these people will be symptomatic at a TSH level of 10 or even, even 6. So we also test uh, low T4. So this is what T4 looks like. Uh, you just get out the microscope and look for things that look like this to measure your T4. And then uh, you also do uh, uh, iodine uh, scan, a radioactive iodine um, thyroid scan to uh, see the uptake of, uh, of iodine. And that will tell you how active the gland is. So you'll see a hypoactive thyroid gland. Treatment is basically just levothyroxine. It's a pretty simple treatment. Um, it, sometimes it takes a while to get your dosing right, but uh, you give levothyroxine, um, and uh, generally these people will take it for life. Uh, in subacute thyroiditis, which we, had, we didn't talk too much about, but subacute thyroiditis is, is often painful, um, and it it will go away in most cases with without treatment, but you can give NSAIDs and steroids to help calm it down and decrease the symptoms. Myxedema coma, as I mentioned before, is just severe hypothyroidism. Uh, you get decreased mental status, you get hypothermia. Uh, 30 to 60 percent of these people die. Um, treatment is IV levothyroxine and uh, IV hydrocortisone if uh, they are, have adrenal insufficiency. There's also congenital hypothyroidism that you need to watch out for. Uh, worldwide, this is usually caused by iodine deficiency, but in developed countries, it may be caused uh, by more congenital or, um, or genetic defects. Uh, for example, I believe that George, DeGeorge syndrome is associated with uh, congenital hypothyroid. Treatment is uh, levothyroxine again. Um, and if I understand this right, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, mother's uh, thyroid hormone will make up for the baby's lack of thyroid hormone, providing she's making enough. Um, and so treatment is only necessary after birth. So please correct me if that's not right. But if you don't treat it, then this can develop to uh, cretinism, which is an old term that uh, basically just refers to the the mental retardation caused by hypothyroidism in babies. So um, this baby on the right here is jaundice, which is one of the things that you'll see with uh, hypothyroid, so you might want to keep that on your radar. So thank you for the pictures that we used here uh, for our Labrador Retriever, for a picture of Oprah, and for the baby. and. Um, if you want to get involved in the pro project, go to worldmedicalschool.org backslash volunteer. Also, your comments are very helpful in making these bi videos better, and please share it with your friends. Thanks.